we can consider any user property as payload. In this scenario, I'm going to use user ID as my payload. Uh, so uh, let's see how to implement this also. Uh, const payload uh, payload is object id user dot id then we can use this payload as the payload here and uh, secret key uh, in here we can use any string as secret key. Uh, I use secret key as simply I use uh, this as my secret key. Then uh, we can pass the expiry time uh, like this uh, expires in. Uh, suppose uh, we want to expire this uh, JWT token in 10 hours. Sorry. Hours. then the callback function uh, token response json token token <laughs> Uh oh, uh, here is the object. Uh, here is the object. Let's try out uh, now. If we call the login route, it will send a JWT response. Let's try out. So I'm gonna save all files save all files and run the server again now I am going to send the request here we got the token uh, we got the J JWT token okay now this uh, first two parts are done now we have to do is write a blog post and then uh, send it uh, via HTTP POST request with JWT uh, so the Node.js server get those details uh, and get the JWT from the uh, POST request then it it gets it and verify and verify the user and allow to access the protected routes so now we are going to implement the protected route for posting a blog post Let's see how to implement it. Here, after post, the route will API slash API slash post. Then, uh, then I have to write a middleware function for authorize the, for getting the JWT and to verify the JWT token. So let's implement this middleware function first. Uh, let's name it as verify token. Okay, function verify token. It's a middleware function. So request response next and <clears throat> First of all, uh, I want to say something that about uh, JWT. So uh, previously we saw that this JWT token generated by the server and server then send this token to client. Now the client uh, will send this token in each and every HTTP request. So the every request, HTTP request has a header. That header contains the authorization property and this authorization property has the JWT token. If you didn't understand what I just said, don't worry. You will get when I implement this. Uh, let's go and implement. I told you that the JWT in the head. So we are going to grab this like this. Uh, const 
Bera Bera Ada <coughs> Rick Headers um, Authorization If Type of Bera header is undefined if there is bare header const bare bare header dot split split because this uh, bare header is an array so we are going to split it and get the first element First uh, bearer token, bearer token. So get the bearer uh, first, uh, not the not the first, the second element. So request dot token equal bearer token. And uh, I told you that this is a middleware function, so we should call the next function. If the bearer header is not available, if the uh, if there is no JWT token or the authorization header, we can say that uh, else part uh, res dot send status send status four not three right so the verify token um, middleware function is successfully implemented now so uh, now we have to implement the, this uh, api post one let's implement this uh, here click voice and okay okay now we have to implement these uh, now we have to implement is this uh, part jwt verify part so uh, this this part so verifying jwt verify function uh, now we are going to implement let's implement it uh, JWT dot verify. So verify. Uh, first of all, request the token. Uh, because uh, in the middleware function, we get the token to the request object. So the request object have uh, request the token here. Request the token property. Then we pass the secret key. Uh, in the secret key we set it as this right so secret key is this and there is uh, the callback function error and auth data error auth data or the payload or whatever you can call here so uh, if any error occurred press dot send status for not three uh, else res dot json message blog posted and we can also uh, send the update also here it's not necessary 
this is for you to get to understand about the data okay let's uh, try this out save all and then restart the server okay now now if we uh, first of all we are going to check the login uh, routes so i'm going to send a post request and this uh, this is the body so if we send this uh, we get this token token back uh, and then uh, we are going to uh, check whether this uh, post route so uh, i'm not going to give the token to http request header here and try to access the protected route let's see our application how how it reacts so uh, the endpoint is api posts posts uh, i'm not going to give any header here uh, so let's send here we got the forbidden or the 403 status code so uh, we can see now we cannot access protected route without jwt authentication uh, let's get again the jwt token here we get the token okay and now i have the token and i'm set it as uh, i'm going to set it as authorization header and send the post request okay set the headers authorization bearer bearer and here now i am going to send the post request uh, to the post endpoint let's see oh, oh got the forbidden never Oh, I have done a simple mistake here. Uh, in this uh, Wi-Fi token uh, <coughs> method, this should be simple. Like. Then save all, save all, and run the server again. Uh, let's. let's send the request again now uh, we got the data we got the data uh, because uh, we send the jwt in our request uh, so if we uh, does if we does not send this we cannot get the response we cannot get the response uh, and another thing i have to say that uh, Uh, if we change any letter anything here we cannot get the response 